Hi you guys. Um, today I'm going to shift gears a little bit from talking about organization to talking about what happened exactly one year ago on April 1st. The irony is that it was April Fool's Day, but it was not a joke. Um, when, if for those who were around at that time, um, my account was hacked and held for ransom by a man in Turkey. Um, and then after paying a certain amount of money um, and going back and forth with him for hours, I was able to get my account back for almost 24 hours and then it was hijacked again because I wasn't able, I talked to multiple experts, they told me I'd locked him out of my account and he could never get back in again and then he was able to get back in and held up for ransom for a very long time. It ended up being a couple weeks, I think, when all was said and done, it gets hazy. And then I um, paid what we now call, or what I've now learned is called a white hacker to get my account back um, a final time and we haven't had any problems since. So it was a really long couple weeks. It was a horrible experience. I felt like everything I had worked for with my business and invested in, hustled and hustled and done. Collabs and giveaways and free work and just creating relationships and just finding so many people to connect with. I just felt like in a moment someone had stolen my business from me and essentially like the last year and a half the previous year and a half of my life so it was a really really hard thing to go through um and the reason why i want to get on here today is not to relive that but what has been the most interesting thing to me is that in the last year and a half no not year and a half in the last year i have probably had a hundred people no joke it might even be more reach out to me saying what did you do? My account, the exact same thing just happened to me. I was told to reach out to you. And I've given this white hackers number to at least a hundred people. Um, it is so crazy that this is so prevalent. And that's what I wanna share. Just a few quick tips on how you can keep your Instagram account safe. I am not an expert. There are some really great, um, much more tech savvy people out there who can show you what to recognize. Um, but now I know how to field anything where any dms that come in that look off that don't feel right um i've learned to never ever ever click on a link obviously never ever ever give your password to anyone um if someone's reaching out to you say that you've been flagged because you posted inappropriate content or you've been approved to get the blue check mark or the green check mark i can't remember what color it is because you've been verified or whatever other ploy it is um lots of times um companies will reach out to you pretending to be either Instagram or another company and um, they'll like feed your ego and say I love your account I want to work with you or we want to give you this free whatever just click on this link I don't even know if they're legit because now I know to not click on any link so just don't ever get um, let the excitement of a moment of an something that could be potentially exciting or scary like your account getting shut down for inappropriate content um, don't let that allow you to like blur your your discerning power to think that you need to act in the moment so you know screenshot whatever it is send it to friends if you're on the fence if you can spot that it's suspicious just block them and report them immediately it is so prevalent and it is happening to so many people it's just crazy crazy the number of people whose businesses and livelihoods are just taken away in a moment by some person on the other side of the world who doesn't even speak english who has found a way to scam other people. And I know scams have been around for forever, but it's just sickening to me that this can happen. So those are my tips. Um, please stay safe, keep your account safe. Um, you know, paying someone a white hacker money to get my account back was not the ideal situation, but um, I'm so glad I did it. So I'm still here to give that information to people who need it. But my hope is that I would never ever have to because I think these scams are completely avoidable. Um, we just have to be really, really aware and astute and get the word out and tell people um, what they can do to stay safe. So anyway, happy April Fools. I am so excited that we're on this vacation, but I actually really love April Fools and doing fun things with my kids and little surprises. So anyone has any tips on fun April Fool's tricks to play away from home when you don't have access to all the normal
the normal things, um, let me know because I need some good ideas. Okay, see you guys. Bye.